All right, you guys, so I've had a couple of questions on whether lavender moon quartz is fake or not. The types of lavender moon quartz I've seen are coming out of China. Some are coming out of Brazil. Supposedly the mine is closed. It looks like opalite. What's going on? Is it real? Is it not real? It's really hard to tell in photos whether this stuff is real or not. So let's talk about it today. I have some opalite here, which we have in Pokemon form. This is the purple pink opalite and we have this more blue opaque opalite as a pikachu these are obviously the glass opalite pieces and you can see they're very translucent very similar <laughs> to the lavender moon quartz especially just looking at it on screen here they look almost identical so it makes you question is this fake or is it real i'm here to tell you that it is fake just kidding. It's real. Thank God, right? It is real. So let's talk about the lavender moon quartz. And I wanted to show you a variety of pieces. A lot of these pieces just sold out. I wanted to show them to you before I ship them out. You can see this one does have some rainbow inclusions. These are completely raw. Just wanted to show you. Ooh, pretty. I just wanted to show you a few of these and what they really look like in the sun. And if you want to see better photos of these, you can take a look on my website, coldbrewcrystals.com or Etsy, just so you can see them photographed in real light. I think it's helpful to see them move around in a video so you can really see what these natural pieces look like. And if you look right there, there is some natural iron inclusions so you can tell for those of you who've ordered these or for those of you who've handled this in real life it feels like quartz it's heavy like quartz it is 100 authentic when i first saw this in person i knew right away it was real and glass feels like glass there's a very apparent temperature difference between the glass and the quartz but look at how incredibly close these look it's really insane they look like opalite and I think that's why people are questioning whether this is fake or not but I can confirm here for you it's real it just has a quartz feeling there's obviously rainbow inclusions you don't get rainbow inclusions in glass but that's why I wanted to show you a variety of these specimens just so you can see the iron inclusions in them there's a variance in color and these are all natural they're not dyed or enhanced they have some aerosol in them that makes them milky but from what I've read on this material that this is actually a variety of amethyst which is a variety of quartz but it, it is really shocking how close it looks to opalite so there's definitely been some talk about difference between whether this is amethyst or it's rose quartz or variety of rose quartz or variety of amethyst and the one way i personally like to look at it is if it's quartz based the only thing that's changing the type of quartz it is is the color so citrine is quartz clear quartz is quartz amethyst is quartz rose quartz is quartz smoky quartz it's quartz they're all quartz at the end of the day the difference between all of them sometimes is locality right but the biggest difference is color these are all in the quartz family it's just the color that makes them different so that's my perspective on whether this is amethyst or a light variety of rose quartz and you have blue rose quartz like they, these are all trade names at the end of the day they're all just a variety of quartz you can tell <laughs> this opalite isn't a very close match it's really this pink opalite that's that's pretty pretty darn close you guys it's kind of incredible and obviously the opalite comes out of china so then when you hear the lavender moon quartz is coming out of china you get suspicious and then when things have funny names like lavender moon quartz why isn't it just called lavender quartz why is there a moon in it you know like these quirky trade names make you think it's also fake let me tell you a little bit about the lavender moon quartz and my experience buying this with the wholesaler i met in denver so in some of my research too it said that the manganese and titanium is what gives it this color which is interesting and there's definitely some garisol which is that kind of milky looking coloring that we're seeing here some of this milkiness which often appears in the blue rose quartz is 
appearing in this quartz as well but not not all types will have it some will have more cloudiness of the garrison and some will have less this lavender moon quartz comes from the ball korea mine and i confirmed that with the supplier who was selling this and he was a brazilian supplier he did say the mine was closed that does come from that mine so the only thing that's really what makes this quartz rare is the coloring and i think that's why compared to a typical rose quartz clear quartz smoky quartz or even a citrine this stuff is sold by the gram versus other types of quartz are sold typically by the pound or the kilo so another thing i want to point out about the opalite versus the lavender moon quartz is obviously opalite is a glass and there are very apparent bubbles in it so taking mr snorlax here you can see a bubble right there there's lots of bubbles in his tummy and lots of bubbles in general and that is because this is a glass and taking a peek at Evie over here. Evie has quite a few bubbles as well right on the base there and if you look closely at the Bulbasaur he's got a lot of bubbles in his bulb here little mini pin sized bubbles that's a really easy way to tell that this is glass if we look at the lavender moon cord there really isn't a lot of bubbles and there is no apparent bubbling outside of natural inclusions that you would find in quartz. Hold the crystal up to your cheek. You will be able to feel a very obvious temperature difference between a glass like opalite and a quartz. There is a very apparent difference and I say hold it up to your cheek because I don't think holding up to your hands is the best way to tell your cheek is a lot more sensitive to temperature hold a piece of opalite and a piece of quartz up to your cheek and you will feel a very apparent temperature difference that is another way to tell but my biggest advice for glass versus quartz is the bubbles it's really obvious when there are very big or pin sized bubbles and the clarity look at how clear this is i mean no regular crystal would be this clear with like a perfect bubble in it that is a dead giveaway this isn't overly clear because it has inclusions in it there are just some other tips for spotting the difference between opalite and glass a lot of people have been suspecting that this is just raw opalite and it in fact is not it is actual quartz it is an actual crystal which is super exciting because i've had a lot of customers say oh my gosh i don't have this in my collection i'm super excited to add this i am so excited to have sourced in denver and we were able to find two separate brazilian suppliers who had this material and i did not find it with any chinese suppliers which has been the misconception that is just raw opalite so that that is that you heard it from me the lavender moon quartz is in fact real and i am super happy to say that because there's been a lot of people wanting to test the material but it is expensive so it's an expensive material to test and an expensive material to purchase so that is my conclusion thank you guys so much for tuning in please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below it's free and it really helps my channel if you guys have any additional comments about this material let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer those. And if you'd like to purchase either a piece of opalite or a piece of the Lavender Moon Quartz, head over to my website, coldbrewcrystals.com or you can find us on Etsy at Cold Brew Crystals. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Love you, bye.